So listen, I don't know, there's all kinds of nerds on this app, but I don't think it's shocking to say that there is a large fandom for the Stormlight Archive, the Cosmere, and Brandon Sanderson, the fantasy author. If you've not heard of this guy, I implore you to look into it. He has quite a bit of books out, but the Stormlight Archive, starting with this book right here, is probably the biggest fantasy series being put out today. He just put out a Kickstarter, what, a year ago? And it was the highest Kickstarter ever on the platform. Ended up making like 42, 44 million. We're all sitting here hoping, waiting for a show, a movie to come out so more people can get into this amazing universe. But there was another Kickstarter that came out. And if you guys wanna get really nerdy with me, it just came in today and I'm gonna open it up. Essentially the story is the world goes through these cycles and there's these bombardments from another place where these monsters come out and they kind of destroy the earth. There's knights and they're the only ones who can fight them. But unfortunately an oath was broken and all of the knights disappeared. The book starts with trying to find a way to bring these knights back. And honestly, it's all just really fun, really amazing, very epic. And there was a Kickstarter by Brotherworks Games that came out about a year and a half, almost two years ago, for a tabletop game, figurines. The little things that you use if you ever play D&D &D, that you kind of move around as your character. Well, that's what they made. They made a bunch of these little figures. They made a statue, which I did not get. There's some art prints, and there's some painted figures that came pre-painted, and they're like little statuettes. I can't wait to open this. This is my box. There is many like it, but this one is mine. Oh, there they are. First up is our Shallan painted figure. Oh yeah, she looks awesome. Her shard blade looks awesome. Next up, we got Kaladin. Oh yeah. Spear. He doesn't like using the swords shard blade so he forms his sprint into a spear this dude is a badass and we got zeth the truthless although i think at this point he has moved on with his new sword won't spoil anything for the story but yeah this guy is a badass assassin next we got adolin and his shard plate god look at that sword 10 heartbeats to summon your sword and to keep going with the painted pictures this is yasna one of my favorites and a really cool character. And of course we have Dalinar. And then I got these packs that actually come with some of the shard bears, some of the other characters. They're not painted, so I'm looking forward to actually painting these. If you ever played 40K or D&D, you know about painting figures. And so they're doing their new Kickstarter for the actual game that you can play with these. Yeah, it might be time to jump in. And as part of the rewards for hitting their goals, we got some of these stretch goals with some extra characters and extra figures from the world. And of course, some bridge stand display. The biggest piece that I ordered was the Chasm Fiend. These things are ruthless, but they have a magic gem heart and that's how the armies feed themselves. Yeah, sounds complicated. You have to read the story, but it's actually really awesome. Cannot wait to try to paint this. And last, we got these awesome little art prints. The community got to vote on which ones they did. I didn't get every one that I wanted, but there's still some cool ones. These are the honor blades. An awesome scene from the books, but I won't spoil it. For those that really know the Cosmere and Brandon Sanderson, you know who this guy is. And then probably my favorite, the Battle of Kaladin and Zeth at the end of Way of Kings. I know that was a long one and a bit nerdy, but what else are we doing here? Honestly, guys, if I can get you to check out any of these books by Brandon Sanderson, I would have accomplished something great. Super fun, super exciting, and as I said, extremely epic. You guys get into this kind of stuff? You got your own little weird thing you collect? Do you like fantasy books? Now to decide if I take it out of the box or leave it in, what's a collector to do? For now, we'll leave them here.